Aero Farms. The creators of this vertical farming system claim that their goal is to grow the highest quality plants possible for the benefit of people everywhere. Since 2004, they have worked to ensure that even a little plot of land provides the greatest advantages, and the results speak for themselves. Consider that the system can produce up to 26 crop each year while requiring only 1% of the space needed for conventional farming techniques. The creators claim claim that the system is based on aeroponic technology that they independently created to provide water to the roots. To put it simply, the roots use 40% less water than in hydroponics since they are sprayed with a specific mist. Additionally, it can be used to monitor a number of parameters at any time and quickly adapt to the needs of the coming crop. Hydrogreen. You can provide your livestock with nourishing new feed with the touch of a button. Zero waste, year-round productivity, and 95% less water use than standard fields. It sounds like something out of a fairy tale, yet it's already true. An image of a vertical hydroponic system that will eventually increase farm productivity is displayed on the screen, which sounds even better in light of recent reports of a meat crisis. Additionally, if the diet is of high quality, cows produce less methane, making it environmentally benign. The technology known as hydrograin can be set up in a variety of ways. The smart components, for instance, take care of lighting, watering, and seeding for 100 or 1,000 cows. In the starter configuration, two hydrograin units generate about 1,300 pounds of feed daily. 380 soccer fields will be replaced by 12 more modern structures. Lully Group Given that cows are the topic at hand, let's discuss milk. Cow's milk makes up around 81% of the total amount of milk produced, and predictions indicate that consumption of dairy products will continue to rise at least until 2030. These solutions are really appropriate. An automated dairy farming system is displayed on your screen. Convenient for cows in addition to people. According to the business, the cows choose when to eat, drink, unwind, or be milked. Because of the improved aiming system and minimal noise of the eye flow idea, even strange shapes are no longer a problem. The technique is incredibly straightforward and cuts energy use by 20. Your smartphone screen has all the options you require. Cubic Farms we need to tackle a pressing issue, and their team's work interests us. What do you suppose they are discussing? It turns out that we will soon be unable to keep food at a reasonable price because we will simply run out of resources. As a result, a new method of feeding the world, or to put it more simply, a new mobile farm is needed. Complex logistic chains are one of the issues, the team claims. They provide this automated hydroponic mobile farm since it is difficult to start local production immediately in the appropriate location and because it conserves time, water, land, and energy during transportation. One farm produces 240 pounds of microgreens, over 125,000 planters, and has a germination rate of roughly 100%. Even in negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures, it is still usable. NSK have farm. While vegetables and greens are fantastic, what about something more nourishing? New fish farms have been developed in Norway. China is also a participant in the project. Its representatives pledged to create bridges between foreign businesses and support growth at the intersections of the maritime and aquaculture industries. The farm is anticipated to initially accommodate more than 22 million pounds of fish. Its length, 1,236 feet, surpasses the Eiffel Tower's height. The building can resist waves of up to 33 feet high and has six tanks for the fish. It also rises by 13 feet during very bad weather. Additionally, data found online indicates that the project needs roughly $197 million.
pace water. We're still talking about fish. It turns out that you can reach the point of designing solutions like this if you work in the area of water delivery for residential and commercial users. A 12,500 square foot aquaculture farm that was helped by experts from a US company is displayed on your screen. Workers are assessing how effectively tilapia are bred. They brought the fingerlings here 242 days ago and they developed into this 1.5 pound fish. The fish are moving far enough and the farm has five different recirculation systems. Just in time for the Chinese New Year, one lot will get there. Since the batch's mortality rate is only 2% when it was originally expected to be 10%, the profits are undoubtedly respectable. Dove Tunnel Autostat why not make a bridge more interesting by transforming it into a piece of modern art? Ordinary bridges are uninteresting. You are mistaken if you believe it is costly and time-consuming. For instance, every spring, this beauty delights the residents of a German city. In 2000, the tunnel bridge was constructed for a show. It is 49 feet in length and 41,888 pounds in weight. Violets, lavender, sage, and wallflower are among the inhabitants of the engineering Marvel, which contains a total of 2,160 pieces. Beginning in April, you can savor the bloom's beauty and aroma. Making art, nature, and technology tangible is also a crucial concept. Plenty a portable vertical farm that may be erected anywhere. It produces twice as much as its rivals. It has a distinctive modular design and produces high-quality goods all year. Doesn't it sound fantastic? Grisco's is a sponsor for good reason. This business once held a third of the U.S. berry market. A farm is only as excellent as its equipment, according to one of the manufacturer's catchphrases. Why not use cutting-edge technology in agriculture when our iPhones are more powerful than Apollo hardware. The end result is a robotic system that uses a unique sponge substance in place of soil and is controlled by a specialized operating system called Plenty OS. Basil, sorrel, onions, and cabbage are already producing healthy crops. Fit Farm Innovation Team GmbH Which came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg, according to the calendar. The second Friday in October is observed as World Egg Day, and the second Thursday in November is World Chicken Day. And the abundance of both should be credited to technology. They are responsible for the appearance of modern poultry farms. The company is prepared to build up commercial chicken farming systems across the EU, but the screen only displays a German solution. The German version provides good automation, simple cleaning, and element replacements in addition to easy ventilation. Robotic arms, for instance, can be added to the lines if necessary. The business is prepared to support the project if there are any issues. Iron Ox The next project is also very promising. The architects of a new concept for sustainable farming presents it to us. The system is of the opinion that robotics and artificial intelligence will aid in the updating of agricultural equipment. The end result is a farm that is completely independent and truly mind-boggling. According to researchers, a 43,000 square foot farm can produce as much as a traditional 1.3 million square foot farm. The hauling, planting, and transplanting tasks are all handled by robots and is much simpler to position these farms adjacent to shops, markets, and other outlets, since roughly 40% of fruits and vegetables spoil before they are consumed. This is a huge advantage. Green Automation Fully Automatic Growing System 
The makers of the following product urge you to expand, and they mean it. Their automated technologies will swiftly pay back the investments by bringing additional earnings in addition to higher yields. The proposed method may operate in a completely autonomous mode and is perfect for leafy greens. You won't have to be involved at all, from planting to harvesting. Additionally, the hydroponic system will use up to 95% less water than conventional techniques. The buyer will thus be aware that the greens they select were harvested just the previous day and not a few days or weeks prior. Final tally, 2.2 million feet. In a year, that many greens can be cultivated. San Anbio Arc According to UN figures, there were over 690 million hungry people in the world even before the pandemic. One of the most essential jobs for humanity is to solve the food crisis because there are more than 10 times as many people on the planet as there are in France. For this reason, engineers and scientists have developed these mobile farms that enable growing in any climate. The farm is a 40-foot long container that is divided into to three areas. The farm itself, the operator's workstation, and a space containing various pieces of equipment. The opportunities are astounding. Cucumber yields of 4,400 pounds per container per year have been demonstrated. Herbs used for medicine are among the more than 300 distinct crops that can be grown. One container is made to last for 10 years, and a plant keeper system makes it possible to regulate it quickly and easily even from a smartphone. Algae Demo Why is algae necessary? There is a more significant application than cooking that many of you are probably not considering. Water purification. In particular, the project's creators are confident that algae will boost fish numbers while also enhancing water quality and reducing ocean acidity. The project's goal is to grow algae in an area ranging from 107 to 215,000 square feet. Underwater drones and cutting-edge software solutions with AI components are being employed for monitoring and assessment in the North Sea. The project as a whole represents an important step for the blue economy, which includes initiatives involving the use of the ocean as a significant driver of economic development and quality of life improvements. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell buttons.